Dear Scott, Friday's the day I know you're going home. I just know it. I know I've said it a lot, but I can just feel it this time. Like a big change is coming, and it'll be you finally coming home. I look at a lot of pictures of you, me, and Hazel when we were little. The whole family misses you. <laughs> I can't believe it's been two years since you left for the army. I'll fill you in as usual. Dad's been working a lot, so he's not home much. But as usual, when he is home, he just stays in his room. He almost never comes out. Mom says that he's just worried about you. Oh yeah, and Mom told me I should think about getting a job to help pay the bills. But I figured I should wait till you're home, so then we can get a job at a restaurant together or something. Hey Hazel. Yeah? When do you think Scott's coming back? Um, I don't know. I'm not sure. She misses you. I know I do. I mean, just yesterday I heard the doorbell ring and I ran over to the door thinking it was you. It was just Adam, though. He wants to know when you're coming back, too. I always check the mail, hoping that you've sent at least one letter. I'm sure you don't have time to write back, or maybe there's something wrong with the mail out there. I know you must be getting my letters, though, because they've never returned to me. I know you haven't forgot about me, Scott. I remember the promise you made me, that you would see me again. I just really hope to see you soon, Scott. I know you'll be here. I can't wait for that moment. You'll pull up in the driveway and we'll all come outside. I'll see your face and you'll give me a big bro hug and play football with Hazel and I like old times. I just really need you. Hey Hazel, where are the stamps? I... Just go home, Scott. We're all waiting for you.